Hello, Danielle. Hey, Phil, what's up? Um, I am here today to show you a little bit of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition um, coming out this summer for the uh, the Xbox One, the PS4, and I believe the PC as well, I think, maybe? I don't uh, know. The, let's, the let's hope big so. three, uh, yes, <laughs> let's hope so. But this is uh, specifically, um, I, I went and saw this at an event uh, last week and was allowed to take video of uh, specifically playing as Virgil, um, who is, uh, you know, Dante protagonist, uh, sorry, Devil May Cry protagonist, Dante's brother. Um, yes, yes. And Virgil... Uh, and he has a lot of swords kind of like yeah, swirling around hover, him, I see. Hovering around him. <laughs> uh, Virgil yeah. was not playable in Devil May Cry 4 originally. Uh, so this is a, a big new addition. Um, currently you are seeing uh, Virgil playing in the Bloody Palace mode. Um, oh. Which is the sort of like endless uh, challenge mode where you're just surviving as long as you can. Getting as many points as you can. I was going to say this... This looks like a sort of disembodied stage, yeah. you know, yes. this is this is in the sky somewhere and you're just killing things. Yeah, so the big like. thing with Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, Devil May Cry 4 of course came out uh, quite some time ago on the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3, probably like five, six years ago at this point. Um, so not only are they updating it to new consoles that are more powerful and, you know, making it look a little bit nicer, but they're adding sure. a lot of content, starting with the fact that you can now play as Virgil. Um, it's based off of, you can play as Virgil in Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, and it's based off of uh, of that play style, but they have, they've added it, they've changed some stuff. They've added some stuff from uh, from the DMC Devil May Cry, the reboot. Um, so oh, like yes. in, in that game, when you played as Virgil, you could like, he, he had all these spectral swords, and he could whip them at enemies, and they would embed themselves in the enemies, and then he could teleport to them. Um, so that's something that you oh, can do gonna, now. I was going to ask how he plays differently from his brother. Is it is uh, that similar to the way he plays differently in three? He's yes, he's much faster. Um, the okay. big thing you can see that blue meter in the in the corner. Um, that is oh, the yeah. concentration meter. Um, so that's a new gimmick that they added for DMC Four Special Edition. Um, basically, it's kind of uh, it's trying to force people to play the way that that uh, Virgil is as a character, which is he's very cool, collected, and cocky. Um, he's very like. Ah, excellent. He's very like uh, three C's. Yeah. So he's he's very like he doesn't make mistakes. Um, so the way the concentration meter works is um, it rewards you. It fills up if you are near enemies, um, in range of them, but not making sudden movements. So just walking really slowly, only attacking at the right times, never missing your attacks. Um, excellent. All of that stuff, which is pretty like a cool, cool collected, cocky person. Exactly. Would do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's cool that they figured out a gameplay way to say, like, to kind of reward you. Oh, so this is, like, his big special move. Look at this. Ooh. So good. Whoa. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of carnage right yeah, there. Just kind of D for everything. deadly right there. I see. Now, are the combos that you were getting, I see D for deadly, C for carnage, B for brutal. Yep. Are those actually letter grades? Like, yeah, A, no, B, that's, C, that's D, what that it sort is. of thing? It goes all the way up to, uh, <laughs> I believe, to uh, S, double S, and triple S are above A. Oh, Perfect. Um, so yeah, uh, now now we kind of switched over. This is actually in the uh, the single player campaign mode. Um, Virgil does not get his own campaign, his own story, but he okay. he gets uh, basically he gets um, to play through the same story that Dante and Nero Nero is the new character from Devil May Cry Four. He plays through oh, yes. the same story mode that they do. Um, which is pretty cool. Just faster and with more cockiness. Yeah, basically. exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it. Um, and and yeah, you you just get to uh, play through those same levels with him. Uh, but then in addition to that, so then you have the the core game with Dante and Nero. You have the Virgil edition. You can play through as him. You can play as him in Bloody Palace. You can play as Dante and Nero in Bloody Palace as well. Um, Excellent. But then in addition to that, on top of all that, you've also got uh, the ability to play as Lady and Trish, uh, two of the Lady and Trish. primary Ooh. female uh, characters in the world of Devil May Cry. Um, Trish, of course, is from Devil May Cry 1 and 2. Uh, Lady was introduced yes. in Devil May Cry 3, um, where they were like, hey, what should we name our, our Lady character? I know, how about Lady? Um, hey, ladies, that's a great name. You know, very descriptive. Uh, you know. So I believe uh, Tr <laughs> Trish was playable in Devil May Cry 2, but she was basically just a reskin Dante. 
So okay. it wasn't really uh, wasn't really worth much. Um, evil legacy. Whoa. Yeah, that's just an evil legacy. No worries. Uh, of course, of course. But now Trish has her own her own completely different move set. Um, she's basically uh, they made it so that she's the one character in the game that does not switch weapons. Um, so ah. she's kind of a little more inviting for for new players. Um, she has this sword that she can kind of send out, and it'll whip around enemies. And while it's out, her move set completely changes. Um, so Ooh. she's got some cool stuff that you can do. Super flashy. Um, she can like send knock enemies into the air, and then they fly down, and she hits them like she's hitting a baseball. Um, oh, that's awesome! Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a fan of that. Um, and then Lady uh, is actually maybe my favorite character that I've gotten to play as so far. Um, Sadly, we're not allowed to take any video of her, but she is a character yeah. who is entirely focused on firearms. Uh, she uses guns. Oh, awesome. Um, so, you know, in the Devil May Cry games, uh, Dante has always used guns, but there's always been sort of like the backup, right? You use it to, like, yeah, keep a yeah. combo going, um, you know, juggle some enemies in the air, but that's never really w what you're doing primarily. Lady only has guns. She does not have any any uh, primary melee weapons. Um, she has a rocket launcher that has, like, a sort of a spear thing attached to it that she can Ooh. Uh, that she can use as a, as a melee weapon. Um, but primarily... <laughs> that pretty gnarly. Yeah, yeah she, primarily she's going to be using, like, she has pistols for when she's ranged. Um, she has a shotgun. She can kind of flip the shotgun around and just, like, shoot it like crazy, and it gets faster and faster. Um, she has a rocket launcher that she can kind of lock on to enemies. Um she actually uses the rocket launcher Excellent. to double jump, which is cool. She, like, shoots it at the ground like it's Quake or something. Um, I love that idea. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a really cool, and it, it plays very differently from uh, from from what I'm used to in Devil May Cry games, and I, I actually really appreciated that. So the way with, with the, essentially the way the game's set up, you play, the regular story is going to be you're switching between Dante and Nero, Nero um, or you can play as Virgil mode where you're just playing as Virgil. Or you can play yeah. as Lady and Trish mode where you're switching between Lady and Trish. Um, That's kind of cool. I like how they've, they've broken it down that way. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's broken down in a really interesting way. It, it kind of makes sense that Virgil would have uh, his own separate thing because he's kind of a lone wolf character. Um, here's our first boss boss encounter as Virgil. Um, he looks... Yeah. <laughs> he looks pretty... Uh, yep. And then, and then right yeah, there. they don't have actual story for Virgil or, or uh, Lady and Trish, but they do have these sort of um, bookending cutscenes at the beginning and end that just kind of give you a little uh. bit of, just a teensy bit of story. Um, the Lady and Trish cutscene was actually very funny because it's essentially them just like uh, making fun of Dante and being like, listen, if you're not going <laughs> to take care of your business, we're just going to go get it done. Um, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. pretty entertaining. Uh, the girl team's going to go. And then they steal his get pizza. Get shit done, basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, th yeah, That's great. this is looking cool. I'm really impressed by how much they've added. Um, it seems like it's it's more than just a next-gen port. Like, they are really giving a ton of new content. And uh, I think fans of, of Devil May Cry, of any Devil May Cry, are probably going to want to check this out. It seems like it's the most content-packed Devil May Cry game there's ever been at this point. Um, so that sounds awesome. Yeah, this looks really fast and, fast and furious. Yeah, coming out this summer, uh, stay tuned for more. Awesome.